Are you having a bad day? If so, I'm sorry. We all have bad days now and then. I had one the other day when I sneezed so hard, I lost some of my memories. But no matter how bad a day you're having, I promise you the people in this video are having one that's so much worse. So sit back, relax, and watch some people suffering. Hooray! These are people having a worse day than you. Number 20. Vlogger attacked by octopus as she tries to eat it during live stream. Eating an octopus is a very questionable decision in the first place, so I think that maybe she got what was coming to her. If you were getting eaten on a live stream, I'm sure you'd attack the crap out of that person as well. So sorry little lady, but what goes around comes around. After her first attempt at putting the octopus into her mouth, the vlogger, who goes by Seaside Girl Little 7, was almost immediately attacked by the sea creature. It wasted no time at all wrapping its tentacles around her head and gripping onto it with its suction cups. And when an octopus gets you in their grasp like this, good luck trying to get it off. After literally ripping it off of her face, her left cheek begins to bleed. Naturally, she's crying really hard and finishes the live stream saying that she'll try again in the next video. Sure, little seven, but maybe next time read up on the do's and don'ts of eating a live octopus before jumping in like that. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This image shows what happens when things go seriously wrong because of a very dumb decision. As you can see, a freighter delivering a lot of cars tipped into the water when ferrying them across from one side to the other. This all went down because the driver made the very dumb decision of setting off early when things weren't prepped. As you can see, he seriously should have waited. He definitely had a worse day than you're having and wound up very fired. As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on screen. Number 19. Cricketeer hits a six through his own car window. Getting hit by a ball is always a potential danger when watching or playing a sport, but hitting your own car with the ball? That's just horrible luck. This bad luck is still kind of balanced by the fact that the cricket player actually hit a six, so I guess it's not all that bad in the end. The cricket player named Asif Ali was playing the Halifax Quarter Cup Finals when he smacked the ball into his rear windshield. After he hit the ball, he said his shift from absolute joy to disappointment was pretty quick. As the ball sailed through the air, he could see that it was headed directly for his car parked in the lot nearby. He finished on 43 not out, but this was enough to bring him into the semifinals. Needless to say, after he broke his car window, people had a pretty good time making fun of him on social media. Jason Manford even responded to the whoopsie on Twitter with two laughing face emojis, so I guess to sum it up, that was an embarrassingly good play for him. Number 18. Frozen snow from truck smashes car window. There is nothing more freaky than driving behind a truck that has a bunch of rods and stuff tied to the bed, because what if one of those flies off and impales you or something? When that does happen, all that you really have to do is pass the truck and all's good. But what if you can't see something like that coming? Well, unfortunately for this poor driver, he definitely couldn't see it coming. Because the things that crushed his windshield was actually a huge chunk of ice from the top of the truck. The incident happened on Vancouver Island in Canada after a particularly heavy snowfall the night before. The driver of the car would be making her way down the highway when a semi-truck begins to merge in front of her. After the truck begins to speed up, an enormous chunk of snow flies off and crashes right into the driver's windshield. Thankfully, no one in the car would be hurt, including the woman's small child who was sitting in the back seat. 
The car was not in drivable condition, so police had to come and tow it away. Let this be a lesson to all of you who live in snowy climates. Brush off the tops of your cars and trucks, because you could be saving lives. Number 17. Lamborghini Driver Cracks His Windshield at least the last person who broke their windshield didn't really do it themselves, and the car was just a normal whatever kind of car. But this guy, he had a beautiful and super expensive car and did something completely stupid and absurd. He decided to pose with it by standing on the top of the car. The day began so well. And now just look at yourself. The total numb nuts who did this was taking part in a gathering called Auto Pride in Florida. After showcasing his car for a little bit, he decided it would be a good idea to do a photo op with the car itself. But instead of just standing next to it like any other normal person would do, he decided it was a good idea to get on top of the car's windshield. Not even five seconds after he got up there did the windshield break. To his defense though, that windshield does seem pretty weak for such an expensive car. After it would break, the guy even stayed up there to finish the photo, which in the end is pretty logical. The windshield's already broken, so you might as well still try and get the photo. His girlfriend was super duper pissed, as anyone would be, if your partner had just totally messed up their super beautiful car. Maybe next time, just take the photo like a normal person and spare yourself the broken windshield. Number 16. Woman walks into glass three times. There's just some days where, after you wake up, you can feel that your mind isn't totally there. You accidentally leave your coffee on the roof of your car, or perhaps leave your water faucet running for the whole day. And in this poor woman's case, she walked right into a glass pane, not once, not twice, but three whole times. I'm sorry, lady, but you're most definitely having a worse day than I am. The woman appears to be trying to walk onto some kind of sports court, but just as she's about to walk onto the court, she smacks right into the glass in front of her. She then, of course, is super embarrassed, and instead of checking where the glass ends, she hides her face in embarrassment, but it also means that she can't see that she's walking directly into another pane of glass. After the second time, she then gives up and bumps her head again on the glass, finally making it out onto the court. But not without a whole load of shame and embarrassment. Don't worry though, lady. Sometimes the day can get better. Just try as hard as you can to keep a positive attitude. As hard as it is sometimes. It can really help to turn one of these days into something actually not so bad. Number 15. Two men unloaded bricks at the wrong address. While walking into glass may be a master class in embarrassment, these two workers had a total breakdown of how to waste a whole crap load of your energy. The thing about these two poor souls is that they seem like super nice guys. They just didn't double check the address. By the looks of the other guy in the video, unloading all of those bricks must have taken them a really, really long time. How many bricks were there to unload? Well, 6,000 in total. The tricky part of it all is that not only do they have to load them back up, but they need to go to the correct address and then unload them all over again. Even with two people, it must have been totally exhausting to finish the task. And I would just like to point out something, because I know we all must be thinking it. But the guy on the left, he looks exactly like Will Smith. Exactly. Like, imagine Will Smith accidentally unloading 6,000 bricks in front of your home. How strangely amazing would that be? Number 14. TikTok user gets trapped inside furniture. This one is pretty panic inducing for anyone who has claustrophobia, and I suppose for anyone who doesn't as well. The video begins innocently enough, with the user LopezLu34 doing a cute TikTok dance to Shakira's song Waka Waka. Now, I'm also using the word dance very loosely in this context because she was more just carrying around the glass than doing any actual dancing. After she did her dancing, she walks over to the coffee table and gets inside, pulling 
rolling the glass over top of her. She then continues to sing the song and after a few moments attempts to get out. The glass though doesn't budge and she immediately starts screaming. Now it's totally understandable. I would have totally began screaming as well. A couple of users on TikTok expressed concern for the poor girl, but seeing as the video ended before we know if she got out or not, some of the viewers were left wondering how that ended for a long while. Considering the fact that she has since posted new things to her profile, I think it's safe to assume that she made it out all right. But not without a lesson. The lesson being, don't be stupid. Number 13. Parents face $132,000 claim after kid knocks over a sculpture. Kids? Well, they can be extremely unruly little buggers. And when I say this, I mean things like coloring on the walls or pooping their pants in inappropriate situations. That sort of stuff is kind of cute, but also irritating. And then you've got some kid who knocks over a priceless sculpture and it ends up costing you $132,000. That's some next level unruliness right there. The sculpture in question would be on display in the lobby of the Tomahawk Ridge Community Center in Overland Park, Kansas. A little five-year-old boy was walking through the lobby and saw a sculpture sitting there. So him, being the little boy that he is, thought that it would be a good idea to go over there and try to lift it off the stand and play with it. The thing though is that he's little, so he couldn't actually lift it, and down goes the sculpture along with the boy. He seemed to be okay after falling over. The owners of the sculpture then went on to sue the child's parents for a smoldering $132,000, saying that they were the ones responsible for making sure that their kids stayed out of trouble like this. That all seems kind of fair, but then the parents tried to turn it around on the city, saying that they shouldn't have put the statue there in the first place. Nice try, parents, but we all know that you messed this one up, so now you've got to pay. Number 12. Driver run over by own runaway lorry after trying to stop it using his body. Good intentions are just that, an intention. If you want the world to change, you need to take decisive action and turn that intention into the change that you want to see. This guy took his intentions to a pretty extreme level when he tried to use his own body to stop his lorry from escaping. As you can imagine, it didn't go the way that he first intended. One of the freakiest parts about the video is that the truck was heading directly for the petrol station. One bad step and they could blow the whole place up. This is probably what made the driver panic and make the rash decision to try and use his body to stop the entire truck. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't just go to the driver's side door and get in, but you know, that's just me. After trying to use his body to stop the truck, he then slips a bit and accidentally rolls underneath the truck. Some of the gas pumps would be broken, and the driver came away with minor cuts and bruises, and everyone who was there should be thanking God, because this didn't get any worse. Number 11. Girl burning her hair off during curling tutorial. It's not easy being a preteen or a teenage girl in this hyper-modern and social world that we live in today. The standards of beauty have shifted to some very extreme levels in the last decade, and we're seeing many girls now learning about beauty from the internet. Some of them even try their hand at giving beauty tips of their own from time to time. And for this girl, she just couldn't get it quite right. After explaining the gist of how to begin warming your curling iron, the young girl, YouTuber Tori Locklear, then grabs a portion of her hair, wraps it around the now super hot curling iron, and says to leave it there for about 20 seconds or more. Oh my gosh, was she wrong. When she finally pulls the curler away from her hair, the whole chunk of hair just separates from her head. It takes her a second to realize what just happened, and slowly but surely it begins to sink in. The look of shock on her face is adorable, but jeez, that must also have sucked for her. I'm not sure exactly what went wrong for her, but maybe next time she should prepare better. Number 10. Woman bravely cut her own bangs, then quickly regrets it. 
Keeping on with a beauty video fails, we have another woman who tries to do something with her hair and fails spectacularly. After making the cut and letting her bangs back down, she can immediately see that what she just did was not at all what she was actually trying to do. And the look of oh crap on her face is priceless. She then begins to try to comb it out and restyle it into something not so terrible, but it doesn't really work. Then seemingly out of nowhere, she understands how silly the situation really is and begins to laugh. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you handle a situation. When life gives you lemons, sometimes you just have to make some lemonade out of it. And take note, other people on this list, when you have a crappy day, just try to smile at least once. Number 9. Girl Gets Leg Stuck in Sewer Drain in China I know that I can't be the only one who gets a little nervous walking over metro grates or those sewage bars in cities, because what if it suddenly breaks and you fall to your death? Unfortunately for a young girl in southwest China, she got her leg stuck in some metal storm bars. Fortunately, she didn't fall or even something more horrible. The 16-year-old girl from China was reported to be so thin that her left leg could actually fit between the 8-centimeter gap in the bars. She was left supporting herself in an uncomfortable lunging position with one foot on the road surface while she awaited rescue personnel. Unable to get her leg out. That not only looks super uncomfortable, but it also looks super embarrassing. After about an hour, the rescue teams were able to pull the bars apart just far enough for her to get her leg out. When she finally got her leg free, you can see the pretty bad scrapes and bruises on her knee. That feeling of finally being free from that must have been super satisfying. Number 8. Woman drops her brand new iPhone 11 while paragliding over the French Alps. Paragliding is such a wonderful and liberating experience. This woman found a way to turn such a pure and exhilarating experience into one of pure crap. I can understand the need to take a selfie during such an amazing experience, but you should maybe also consider the fact that you could easily drop your phone, especially when you're flying 5,000 feet above the ground. At the beginning of the video, we see the woman messing with the settings of her selfie stick and phone in order to get the best quality image. Then she starts off the whole selfie video thing and states the obvious to whoever will see it. I'm flying! But when she tries to switch hands to get another angle of her flight, the wind just seems to catch her phone and sends it hurtling towards the water or perhaps the ground below. We can hear the pilot say, oh crap, as soon as the phone flies out of her hand, which is a very appropriate exclamation for what just happened. Then the woman goes on to say that she just bought the phone and has not yet even gotten insurance on it. Well, lady, you should have thought of that before you decided to take your phone 5,000 feet into the air. Number 7. Woman's attempt at 10-pin bowling goes badly wrong. On those weekends when you've got nothing to do, what's better than getting the family together and going bowling? Especially when you have an auntie with you like the one in this video. One who has absolutely no idea how to bowl. She'll definitely shake things up for everyone else involved. Good old Auntie Dorina went out bowling with her family one Saturday evening in Brazil, and she didn't really know how to play, but I'll be damned if she didn't look great in that one-piece jumper she had on. Once Dorina got the ball out of the loader, she looks back hesitantly, but her family cheers her on to just throw the ball. And throw the ball, she most certainly did. right into the television hanging from the ceiling in front of her. She then turns around half laughing and half in shock. The TV, though, is completely destroyed. I'm sure the people who own the bowling alley must have seen something like this before. The TVs are pretty close to the lane, but it's okay, Auntie Darina. You look fabulous while destroying their property. Number 6. When Juicing Goes Wrong 
Eating healthy, it's really overrated, am I right? No? I'm sure that Big Brother's Kate Lawler would agree with the statement after she inadvertently made her juicer explode everywhere in her kitchen. In fact, she made it explode so well that she got her juice all over the place. On her flowers, on her fridge, and probably even all over the dog. She was waking up from a night out partying when an epic hangover hit. And what better cure for a hangover than a freshly blended smoothie? Except that she was still hungover and totally left her spoon in the blender. The end result of such a mistake is what we can see here in the video. Her juice and fruit exploding everywhere, along with a freshly destroyed blender. After showing us the juice all over her face, her kitchen and her dog, Kate even likens the mess in her kitchen to a murder scene. Now if we're all going to be honest, it totally does look like a murder scene. If only the juice had been just a little more red, she could have totally pulled off an amazing prank on someone. Number 5. Italian priest opens Facebook filters by mistake while streaming and gets upset. Once the coronavirus hit Italy, they had many, many mass lockdowns across the country. This forced a lot of people to go online for a lot of their needs in life, which included going to mass. An Italian priest, Paolo Longo, decided to use Facebook to stream his live mass. But what he didn't know was that there are filters on the live streams. So when he stepped back from the camera, cute little filters came all over his face as he very seriously went through the prayers. It's unclear whether he actually noticed and just didn't care, or if he didn't even notice in the first place. The video ended up with about 3 million views after it was posted to Twitter right after the stream. So I guess that's one way to get your message out. Number 4. Porcupine falls on Sandra Nabucco in Brazil, leaving quills in her head. This is just a really, really random and horrible thing to have happen to you during a perfectly normal day. Imagine that you're just out and about, walking along, maybe with your dog in the street of Brazil. Out of nowhere, a porcupine just falls off of a lamppost and directly onto your head. Perhaps it's a sign of good luck. You know, like a pigeon pooping on you, but not really. I tried to make this a bit nicer for her, but it, it just really sucks. The woman, Sandra Nubuco of Brazil, would be walking her dog near Rio de Janeiro when a 10-pound porcupine fell off of a lamppost and landed on her head. At first, she didn't really realize what had happened, but then she reached up and felt all the quills that were left in the top of her head and totally freaked out. She was then taken to the hospital where doctors removed all the quills, and guess how many that there were? You got the number in your head? Well, there were about 200 quills in there. I can only imagine how painful that must have been for her. There isn't even a lesson in any of this. It's just pure bad luck. Number 3. Cows spend month roaming in newly built house and riddle it with poo. This is just ridiculous. And it would be hilariously heartbreaking had I been one of the people about to move into the house. All the build up and excitement of moving into a new home, and when the day finally comes, you open that front door only to see cow excrement everywhere. There goes your excitement. Before the family arrived, a nearby rancher had filed a report for some missing cattle, though he of course never thought to check the nearby house. Because why would he? There they were, however. When one of the owners came to drop off a couch, she opened the door and found some cows inside, and the floor was wall to wall covered in cow poop. That must have stunk so bad. The general theory is that a storm may have pushed the door open, allowing the cattle to have a month long poop party inside of her house. The family was practically in tears when they saw the state of their home. Whether or not those tears were from the stench has never been disclosed. Number 2. Proposal Fail Sees Engagement Ring Thrown Overboard by the Best Man 
There are a lot of beautiful and creative ways of proposing to the one you love the most in life, though I'm not sure that most of those ideas would not involve accidentally throwing the ring over the side of the boat you're on. This unfortunately is what the best man did when he tried to toss the ring to his best friend who was proposing to his girlfriend. Miles proposed to his girlfriend Angie in Sarasota, Florida by going down on one knee in front of a beautiful sunset as the pair were on a boat. But when Miles asked his friend Roman to toss him the ring, that's when things went horribly wrong. We can see in the video the moment that Miles' buddy, who was off camera, over-egged his toss and it went straight into the water, leaving poor Angie speechless. Roman then tried to save the whole debacle by going into the water and finding the ring, but all that he found in the end was the box that it came in, with no ring inside. At the very least, he managed to make it a very memorable proposal, and it's a good story to tell the kids later on in life. If your day is really that bad, you can relate to some people who had just as crappy of a day as you did. Which of these people do you think had the worst day? Let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time.